Welcome back to another edition of Tribe TV. I'm your host, Reese Arthur, and we're going to send you to Culinary and Spotlight. Uh, I like culinary because I love learning uh, how to cook different foods. Um, it's a really fun class, good teacher. Miss, love Mrs. Holderfield. She's amazing. Get to mess, not really mess around, but cook different things with your friends, and it's just a blast. Right now we're making cakes, and then we have to make our own frosting, and it's like double layered. I think the regular mic and the camera sounds better. I'm just saying you're putting... This is, we've cooked a lot of like stir fry, different types of noodles. We've cooked all sorts of like different sauces and stuff, and that one, that one was pretty fun. I liked our final, our gingerbread houses. That one was, that was good. Next up, we send you to Game Nostalgia with Kobe and Zeph. Hello, everyone. This is Zephyry here with Game Nostalgia. I'm your host this week. And this week, we'll be talking about probably one of the most widely known games of all time. The family destroying, the friend crushing game that can last forever, pretty much. Monopoly. The original version of Monopoly was actually released in 1932, which is really long. The whole point of Monopoly is to be a capitalist, gather up money around the board, use it to buy properties. Of course, there is another thing with chance and community chest. But of course, the most important part is the pieces. And one of these pieces we actually were, were able to find in this Monopoly board we have is the limited edition piece that won a contest back in 1998. That's the money bag. The money bag was used until 2007. However, only two pieces out of the original six are still in use to d this day. Those are the top hat and the battleship, which unfortunately we don't have in this version of it. I mean, we do have the top hat, but I mean, we don't have the battleship. We'll catch you next time on Game Nostalgia. Now Clayton and Hayden bring us to Wheel of Unfortunate. Welcome back to your favorite game show, Wheel of Unfortunate. I'm your host, Hayden. I'm co-host Clayton. And this week we have... Liam Sternfeld. Okay, I'm gonna spin this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like you're gonna be doing a snow angel. Snow yeah. angel. Yeah. Good news is we got some snow over the weekend. Lucky, <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> Sorry. All right, you know what they say. That's <laughs> unfortunate. All right, we'll see you out there. Oh my God, it's cold. <laughs> Now Kale brings us the Monticello Movie Review. Hey guys, welcome back to Music Review. We find music and we review it and see how we feel about it. I'm here with... Roberto Lopez. Andrew Stevens. Gage Larmer. And I'm Eric Santiago. So, um, today's song is Fallen Kingdom, um, by, uh, Captain Sparkles. <laughs> Voice yeah, like the, right off the bat, his <laughs> vocals dude. are amazing. Oh my god, it's, it's dude, this good. is, bro, this is good. Let's keep going. I I like the, I like the like cowbell or whatever this in the background. Yeah, no, just, it's, it's constantly and like just the story so far. Yeah, there's like a hero. There's like a, there's but a he's, story. Is, is, is he's, protect, he's protecting his like kingdom. It's just, yeah, it's just yeah. beautiful. It is I just, beautiful. I can't. What's happening to the kingdom? No, what's happening? What is happening? No, what's happening to the kingdom? Did, did, did that guy Dude, like go the, in and like... Bro, the, no, not the... Bro, not the kingdom. This no, I swear. I swear. I swear. No, I swear. No, it's just... Dude, this, this kingdom is gonna be... No, dude, we gotta keep going. We just gotta keep going. Bro, 
Is that the castle? Like, is that like, is that the castle? Like, but it's like torn down. What do you mean, bro? He's are you suiting up right now? Yo, the castle. Yeah, but look, look, shut up, dude. The castle, but it's falling down. The castle. Bro, why'd you fall in? It's a. This like it's like the ruins. That was when I ruled the land. So, bro, no. For, um, first reviews, just no, bro. It's just a very emotional song. Yeah. Like, the, the music in Dude. his uh, voice kind of just create a... No, they, they were perfect act. together. Yeah. They, per, like, they, perfect they, they, they perfectly just meshed together. And, yeah. like, it made me want to cry, honestly. Like, yeah, I, um, I I had to get up for a second. Dude, I... I, I can't describe how... It's just... It's so wrong. <laughs> yeah. It's so... It's crazy. What is it, Minecraft parody? <laughs> <laughs> Next up is so TL thinks they can TikTok. Let me jerk one more time. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. Hello, I'm Mallory Van Dorn and I'm back at you again with another episode of So TL Thinks They Can TikTok. This is episode six. Let's go find some people. Let me jerk one more time. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. Hey, do me a favor. Call me jerk one more time. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. Let me jerk one more time. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. Here's the first episode of Guest the Guest. Welcome to Guest the Guest. We're your hosts, Ty Gillum, Colin Seymour. And today, in this game, one person will be blindfolded, and they'll have another person next to him that they don't know about. And this person that's blindfolded gets 20 questions yep. to guess the person. And if you get it right, you get a ding. It's wrong? Nope. Nope. All right. We'll bring in the guest. Yep. OK, do you place forward? Hmm. Okay, is it a winter sport? Oh, I'm already cooking. Okay, is it a, a, a guy sport? Huh. All right. Let me get a lifeline here. All right, you get to touch his hand. Do you play basketball? <laughs> Do you wear number 33? I know who it is. My guess is Hayden Hubbard. Yes! I got it. Well, you're good at this. <laughs> Very solid performance from Colin. What can I say? In the first episode. What can I say? Uh, yeah, nothing more, really. Good job. Yeah, well, we're going to have two more people next time, and it's going to be hopefully a lot, a lot more fun. And to wrap things up, here's Where's That Indian. Welcome back to another episode of Where's That Indian. Today I'm here with Olivia Nickerson, and here is her first clue. Subtract, divide, add. Some students think this subject is bad. This teacher is cool, though. At football, he's a pro. Mr. Tanich? Yeah. Is that part of it? No. <laughs> okay. Clue number two. The students wait here for forever, waiting for their rides to show up whenever. They wish they didn't have to, but that's the only way they can chew. <laughs> Sorry, that one was bad. <laughs> You know? Is it by the main office? Or by the Circle Drive? Yeah, 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 yeah. There okay, you go. Okay. On to clue number three. 
The students gather here before and after school. It's definitely an enforced rule. The booths are a good place to relax. However, some of the high chairs don't have backs. The comments? Mm -hmm. The final clue. Dang, I'm so thirsty. Wherever should I go? But this hall is a good option. I can learn about wars also. The history of waterfowl. Yeah, okay. That's a wrap for this week's edition of Tribe TV. I'm your host, Reese Arthur, and we'll see you next week. Stay classy, TL.